so hey guys welcome back to my channel once again and today we are going to solve the find the nth character right okay so hook line i copied from striver is hope you're doing extremely well all right so i see that many of you are commenting that yeah uh, the hook line uh, seems to be same as striver so see i have also done many things from striver so it is not wrong to copy anything from him right so hope striver likes my video also so today's question is find nth character right so what is the input given to you you have provided with a string an r and an n now let us see what is the meaning of this the string is input string so suppose it is 1 1 0 0 it is a binary string given to you that it is a binary string right now in each iteration each iteration you process the string and while processing you convert all ones to 1 0 and all zeros to 0 1 right and r is the number of iterations r is the number of iterations right no doubt up till here all right so for r equals to 2 that means two iterations so if i perform the first iteration this one will return me 1 0 this one will return me 1 0 this 0 will return me 0 1 this 0 will return me 0 1 right this is my first iteration after second iteration my string gets converted to this one will turn me one zero this zero will turn me zero one this one will turn me one zero zero one zero one one zero zero one one zero sounds like a song to me right okay so these are my two iterations now what does the question ask me the question asks me that in this final iteration thing, that is after doing the second iteration, we got this string as the final string, right? We have to provide the element present at n equals to 3. Present at n equals to 3. Okay, so this is my 0th index, 1st index, 2nd index, 3rd index. So my 3rd index contains 1. So my answer will be 1, right? If it would have asked for n equals to 5, so 4th index, 5th, 5th index, my answer would have been 0, right? So this is my input and output. I hope you're clear with the input and output and you can move to the approaches, right? So as usual, we will discuss the simplest approach, the brute force approach, right? So what is the brute force approach? I always tell you in, uh, tell you in my videos that whenever you encounter, uh, you want to solve a question by brute force approach, just do what the question says. The question says you have provided with the string, perform R iterations right and provide me another character so you say okay i accept the string now i will perform the r iterations how we perform the r iterations so suppose your current string is s right that is this string and you have your reference string right right so for r iterations that is a loop will run i equals to 0 to r minus 1 that is r number of times correct now your reference will become this let us say it is an empty string right now your reference will become let's say apply and then send current to it right after this while becoming uh, while coming out of the loop you say cur equals to ref so what is actually happening is suppose your r is 2 as, as above your s is 0 right so what is happening is so s is 1100 0, 0 at this step so cur is equals to 1100. Zero, zero. I'm not mentioning the double quotes. I hope you understand that. My reference is a currently empty string, right? For i equal to 0 to r minus 1. My r is 2. So I will move for 0 and for 1. The 0 is iteration, right? Ref equals to apply cur. Now what is apply doing? Apply is just changing 0, 1, 0, 1, right? So what is apply? Let me write a pseudo code for apply also. So my apply is actually doing, apply is actually expect, uh, taking a string into it, forming an empty string. Let's say this. And what is it doing to it? So for int i going from 0 to s dot length, that is traversing the string minus 1, right? And answer equals to, sorry, if my s i, that is my i th character of the string, is equals to equals to 0, in that case, answer equals to answer plus 0, 1, as stated in the question, right? Else, answer equals to answer plus 1, 0 right if it is not zero it will be one right so no problem till now this will be my apply right 
So my string was 1100, my curve becomes 1100, my ref is empty. For the zeroth iteration, my ref will become 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Right? Am I correct? Are there any problem, guys? I hope not, right? This done and curve becomes ref. So curve becomes ref. So curve becomes 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. I just copied it right now, right? Now, for i equals to 0 to r minus 1, so second iteration, that is 1. Let me change the ink. Now, again, apply option chain will, operation will work and this will cut, cut converted to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. That is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, right? I think I have written the correct statement only, right? My ref becomes this and my curve becomes this. That is the same thing, right? I don't want to copy it again and again. Let me mark it like this, right? So you see that after performing two number of times, my final string is contained in the R, in the current, also in the reference also, but I will use the current one, right? And this is my final string. So can I just say return cur of n? Simple, right? This is my string I wanted to get, right? So you can see, you can match those, both the strings, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, right? You can match, both of them are correct. And S of 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 is 1. 4, 5, uh, so 5 is also 5, right? So answer is turning, turning out to be true. This is my brute force approach. But let us analyze the time complexity for one time. A time complexity. Why am I analyzing time complexity? See, I don't generally analyze time complexity and that is my mistake, I agree, I apologize. I will remember that I have to uh, analyze the time complexity and space complexity in the further questions. But the question here, the time complexity for this brute force approach is really important to understand because we will be able to drive our answer for the final approach, the optimized approach also, right? So what we will doing is uh, time complexity, right? We are time complexity. So this loop, this reference loop is running R number of times, R number of times. So R into, R into this step, right? Because this step is taking only one unit of time. So I will not consider that. Now, S dot length minus one. So we will say that mode of S, right? But I will say, no, you are wrong here. Why? Because initially R4, our rs was given as 1100 0, 0. so the length was 4 in the first iteration it becomes 1010101 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. and the length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes it's just doubled down because each digit is doubling its length so it becomes 8 after first iteration and when what will become after second iteration it is 16 so you can see it is exponentially increasing that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so what is the length 2 to the power r this is my time complexity, very exponential and not fit for doing anything for it, right? So what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Yeah, I can create an optimized approach. What will be my optimized approach? I hope all of you are waiting for the optimized approach only, right? Guys, I'm not able to understand why are you not wait, uh, watching my video from the starting till end? Like my average is around 4.5 minutes only. And I'm, I'm posting the videos about 25 minutes. Don't you like my approaches or what? Or oh, yeah, all of this is in the positive note, right? I'm not being rude, right? Uh, else, thank, thank you for supporting me. And if you're supporting me, do hit the subscribe button right now, right? Optimize approach. So you not is I was able to get only one optimized approach. I will be very thankful if any one of you can also advise me, right? So I say forget the string. Let's say you have a string. Don't take an example. One one zero zero nothing, right? Let us take the indexes. Suppose the string length is n. So indexes will be like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? These are the indexes. Let us say this is our iteration number 0 because no iteration has been done up till now. For iteration equals to 1, that is first iteration, what will happen? I will create a string of 20 indexes, right? Why 20 indexes? Because the length is 11. Right now, 0 to 10, it will change to 22 because each character will So it will be 21. Sorry, sorry if I'm a mistake. 21 indexes, 22 minus 1, that is the in maximum index in a string that can happen. Right? So now I will say that this 0 will form 0 and first index of this string. Am I correct? Am I correct, guys? This index value will be returning with 0 and 1. Am I saying something wrong? I don't think so. That is the whole concept of the question, right? This one will convert next two. That is zero and one are already covered. So this one will convert two and three. This two will convert 
4 and 5, similarly 6 and 7, 8 and 9, 10 and 11. And sorry for taking such long string, this will become very messy. So I will just take 5 of them, right? Hope you understand. The concept is very easy if you get the hang of it. It's not that easy. I spent 10 half an hour. You can see that the video has started on 12.51. Generally, I stand on, start on 12.30 itself, right? Because I'm able to solve the question in that time. Not bragging, but I'm showing the difficulty. Like it is a very intuition based problem, right? So you have to think a lot for this. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I do the same step, now this will be my referencing. So this will be interrupting me 1, 0, 1, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly, so on and so forth, right? Let us, let, we were taking, we were talking about the third character, right? We were talking about the third character. Third character is coming from second character. And this second character is coming from one character, right? Now, how can I go from third to second, second to first, right? I know the number of R. I know this N. I have to reach this, right? And I have to reach this through this. That is how it is, how it is possible. So you can see that 2 is actually returning 3 and 4. 3 is actually returning 5 and 6. 4 is actually returning 7 and 8. So if I divide these 2 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1.5, right? 1.5 integer division, it will get converted to 1. Right? And I guess I have, yeah, I have committed any, some mistakes. Sorry, guys. It will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So it will be 2 for 4 and 5, 3 for 6 and 7, 4 for 8 and 9. Sorry for my mistake, guys. Sorry, forgive me. Please forgive me. This is just a writing mistake from my side, right? I didn't increment the count. I don't know how to count, right? I don't know 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So 4 by 2. What is it? This is running me. 2. 5 by 2 is actually 2.5. But the integer division will convert into 2. 2. 6 by 2 is 3. 7 by 2 is 3.5. Again 3. 8 by 2 is 4. 9 by 2 is 4.5. Again 4. So you can see these values are matching. Right? So I have to use a division operator. Okay. So suppose I got 3. Right, so three will give me that the in like this was iteration number two. So in iteration number one, go to the second index. Two will say go to the iteration in iteration number zero, go to the two by two. That is first index, right? Now iteration zero. I already have the string s for iteration zero. Can I return s of n? Right. So this is this will be my base case that for i r equals to zero, return s n. Now another complexity. So suppose my second character is one, right? My by, uh, character present at uh, second index is one. So it will be returning one is actually forming one zero, right? So you can see always, always the first character is even, right? So first character is even for even position. That means even position, and the second character is for odd position. I will use that. So if one, it will be returning one zero. One will be returning S n. That is one, right? Suppose it is running one. Now two will take the even position. Two will take even position because two is even. So even position will be returning one. For one, it is returning one. So two will also return one. But now it is three. Three is an odd position. So odd position is zero. So three will be returning zero. This is my whole algorithm, guys. This is my whole algorithm. And let us discuss the pseudo code for this. So what I'm doing is, so suppose I'm calling a function solve. I'm sending my string that was given to me as input. I'm sending my R and I'm sending my N. What I'm doing is, now if my R is equal to equal to zero, I don't have to do anything. This is my base case, return S of N, right? This is my base case. Why would I try to process anything, right? Otherwise, if n percentile 2 equals to equals to 1, that is odd case. In odd case, first find the character. So let's say char, let's say I'm taking c. So char c will be solved for send the same as r minus 1, decrement the iterations, n by 2. Right? Now, because it was odd, so if c equals to equals to 0, 
So for zero, it will be running zero one, right? And for one, it will be running one zero. So even position is zero in case of zero. Even position is zero and all position is one. We are dealing with all right now. In that case, return one. Else, even case, even case odd is zero. Else return zero, right? This is for odd case. Else, even case. For even case, return zero for uh, c equal to zero and return one for c equal to one. Else the same, the code will remain same. Okay. Only this condition will change. It will get converted to one and the code will remain same. So actually, I didn't write the pseudocode, I actually write the code. Like, let's analyze the time complexity as I promised above. The time complexity. What is time complexity, guys? So you can see we were given with n, we were given with r. How many times it is getting processed? It is getting processed r number of times because r minus 1. r is a limiting case, not n. Don't get confused by n by 2, right? r is a limiting case because the base case limits the r. So it is running r number of times. I don't, don't think any other thing is happening. Just uh, r is a space complexity also because of the recursion stack space, right? Now, I don't think that it is possible, but still, for me, please try to solve it by iteration. And if possible, please paste the code. I will surely give you a shout out if the code runs fine on the GFG platform. And let's, for now, just code the problem down, right? Let's code the problem down. So what will happen? We will just have to code what we did the pseudocode. So if r equals to zero, the base case has reached, return so nothing else, right? Otherwise, so I'm saving some writing so char c equals to nth character right of s r minus 1 and n n by 2 sorry n by 2 right and it is c oh tiny mistake yeah. now if n percentile 2 equals to equals to 1 that is the case for odd case what is the odd case if c equals to equals to 0 so c0 is returning 0 1 so i have to return 1 that is on occurring my or index right return 1 else we return 0 right and in the else case for the even case to the same step just change this to 1 for 0 it will be returning 0 for z1 it will be running 1 right it should run fine let's try to compile and run it and hope it will work uh, the gfg will not commit any mistake in the future also like it did yesterday it changed the test cases yeah i don't know why they should not post it if the test cases they have changed right so i hope you like the video and i will request you to as usual subscribe my channel like my video and guys i have sincere request that please give my placement see if they try right i will be very consistent i have recorded first lecture also second lecture also uploaded the first second lecture is recorded with me i will upload it tomorrow right because we will be moving monday friday uh, wednesday thursday sunday right four days a week so i think that we will cover it a lot more faster and guys i guarantee you it will have the best resources why because i have learned from the best resources right and you know who i have learned from the line which i copy right uh, hope you're doing extremely well so i you know who is the coder that does so so thank you for watching have a nice day we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy and that's all for now bye bye